from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top stories. Government officials heading into the Independence Anniversary, keeping an eye on two major situations. What is happening in Haiti in the wake of the presidential assassination there and the persistence of the coronavirus. There is major concern about social unrest in Haiti. Our embassy there has already been closed. The Defense Force now planning to put extra vessels in place for border protection just in case. National Security Minister Dames telling the media they're keeping a close eye on the situation. A very unfortunate uh, situation. We will continue to do what we have to do to ensure that we protect our, our borders. Haiti, of course, is a neighbor. Um, and so, I mean, we have a responsibility to monitor um, what's, what's, what's taking place. Haitian activists in the country are urging unity. No end in sight to the coronavirus yet. The Ministry of Health confirming another 59 cases for Wednesday spread over five islands, but 46 of them in the capital. Hospital numbers are still too high for their liking. 50 persons are now in with four in the ICU. The death toll remains at 252. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. As the investigation continues, the Defense Force has now sent formal condolences to the families of the two pilots killed in that Treasure Key plane crash. Jason Allen and the Val Paul were both Defense Force officers. Investigators are still trying to determine what led to the crash of that plane while it was taking off from the airport at Treasure Key. A compromise by the Ministry of Culture with local artists who had a problem not being included in this year's formal independence celebrations. Culture Minister Lewis has announced that there'll be a two-day independent showcase at the end of this month featuring 48 artists in recognition of the 48 years of independence. This year's celebration scaled back due to the state of emergency. Today's Tribune has the independence supplement with all of the related information. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at tribune 242 Dot com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area now. Partly sunny today, pleasant. Highs in the upper 80s, 87 at Freeport, 87 in the capital, 86 at Matthew Town. Caution flags are up for boaters still. Winds getting up to 20 knots. The sea's up to 6 feet over open waters. High tide now, the next low around 3 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about heading into the weekend. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We are now in the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to complete your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines, the death toll from that Florida condo collapse is now up to 64. Ten more bodies have been found in the rubble and the search continues for others. There are still more than 70 persons not accounted for. Tropical Storm Elsa continues to dump rain on the east coast of the U.S. and hamper travel. The storm is expected to head out to sea in time, but there has been major impact on the east coast of the U.S. The World Health Organization again warning about the Delta variant of the coronavirus and what it can do. It's spreading in several countries, including the U.S., Japan, Australia, and South Korea. One health official describing the variant as the virus on steroids. Tribune's gas tracker prices heading into the weekend. Shell 509, SO 507, Rubis $5.01 per gallon in the capital. No changes. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Countdown to the Olympics continues. It's in Tokyo in about two weeks. The Tribune Sports has the latest profile. Tania Gaithia. Get the latest on the preparations. There'll be no fans. That decision has been made now. Find out what Jazz did against the Dodgers yesterday in Major League Baseball. 
and what DeAndre did against the Bucks in Game 2 of the NBA Finals last night. The Suns won again. They have a 2 nothing lead in the series. There's an update on Bahamas playing pro baseball in the U.S. and find out who will be playing in the women's final at Wimbledon. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.